Hi, my name is Safer Fireheart. Welcome to Exanima. I actually recorded some footage before, but uh, I had no audio because I fucked up. So we were playing uh, Arena Novice. You see, I have expert unlocked, but uh, well, we're just gonna play Novice. I unlocked expert before the update came, and uh, also I was at the end of the story mode, but I lost all my progress. And uh, we're actually gonna start with this armor that I uh, achieved during the last fucking 30 minutes of gameplay that I lost. Um, I, I could get like halfway to the arena anyway. So I just save the time and go equipped. I don't know what to fucking say now that uh, I actually already said a bunch of things before, but I lost the footage. For sure it's, uh, uh, it's going better than before, that I can say. I'm warmed up and all that thing. This first enemy is always fucking pain in the ass because of his weapon. It's not bad weapon, I must say. And he's dead. So let me say about. Uh, uh, let me say something about the actual uh, actual controls in gameplay. Control your character by WASD. W is forward. It's not uh, up to the screen uh, like usual game. It's just forward. Uh, D is turn right. A is turn left. S is backwards, of course. You hold shift to sprint. You can use right click uh, and hold to move, which is more smooth. Uh, you press tab to go into combat mode. In combat mode you're like uh, sidestepping. Depends on your setting, either it's double tap or hold to like do a, da a little dash. Like that. Well, it's it's basically almost the same. And you hold left mouse button to swing. And uh, this red rectangle, it's where your character is facing. So you use that and your swing to do a like better swing, like this. Or uh, to use a backhand swing. And uh, this game is all about physics. So I'll just go to the next fight and. Uh, and fucking kill this dude. You can just uh, tap the middle, uh, the left mouse button, and hope for a like lucky hit. You're just gonna die. It's all about tactic, using enemy openings. this and you, you don't want to turn your back to the enemy and I just fucked up you can actually knock the, the enemy out you know all the physics things Like GTA, but fucking GTA 5, but physics always enabled. There. He dead. 
It's only second enemy. There's like uh, five or something more. I don't remember. But yeah, that fucking combat is amazing. I'm playing this game since like fucking... Not all the time, but... I have like 10 hours on this game. And I already beat beat it because I was just all in this game. But the new update came, like I said, and it changed a bit things. Like uh, physics a bit different, like animations. In combat, I notice it's easier to fall over or make other people fall over. But in just running around, it's hard to fall over, over like trash laying around. And in arena, is uh, all your skills are unlocked. But now in the story mode, you actually have to develop the skills like. Using those two swings in a quick succession, it's a, actually a skill you have to unlock. But so, uh, say, same goes for enemies. The enemies in the beginning are easier, they only deal one swing, they do not uh, make dangerous combos. So, it's, it's actually easier for new players to start with story mode than it was before. And he's dead. Let's finish him off. Fucking balls. Oh, this dude. I'm bad. Oh, my hands are glitched a bit right there, but. Enemies with long weapons, like war hammers, they are fucking tough. And this dude has nice armor, he has chain. Shirt or something. But he's no match for me, of course. That was actually easier than I thought. Easier than usual. Chain tunic. Come on, equip it. Oh! I forgot I already have it equipped because I beat him already before. In. in in the last fucking 50 minutes. The same goes for the armor she is wearing. So, I died at the next enemy. Which is pretty easy actually, but well. I was not careful. I was too full of myself. This enemy is one of the hardest in this novice arena. Because of shield and the fucking axe. Nice combo. <laughs> in the face. I should do more backhand swings because she's using a shield. And she almost fell over. That would be so good. Well, she's dead. That was perfect hit in the back of the head. Okay, this fucker. I need your I need your fucking sword. Sword, yeah, sword. And your gloves. And he's dead. So easy, and I died before. I'm so fucking disappointed in myself. Now you can actually wear belts while wearing that uh, vest. Before the update, you couldn't. Okay, let's use this. Leather tunic? Yeah, it's, it's better. Okay. And of course, pick up the fucking sword. It's better than my current one. Yeah, totally. 
I am even checking, I know it's fucking better. Well, next slide. Oh, she's. I died many times fucking in her hand. She has pretty long sword and good shield and nice armor. I'm trying to say she's fucking good. And hard to defeat. Personally, I think she's the hardest of the novice uh, fucking arena. And if I could not stop spinning around. So fucking amazing. Not to just finish her off. And not to get too full of myself and do a stupid mistake that could kill me. And she's dead. Let's take her gear. She has a chain shirt, which is better than my tunic. As you can see, a bit more coverage. Uh, what else I can take? Count as the same. Let's use leather greaves and her boots. It's better than these just just boots. Now, now you cannot uh, place stuff in her uh, on her body. You have to move it to her inventory. Shoulder pads, sure. And uh, next battle. Okay, this is the last one from the novice. God damn! Two mistakes in a row I made. That that could be very very bad. Probably will. Ah, oh. shit! I'm too used to fucking story mode. I I played it uh, like two hours ago and died on the second level. But I'm too used for them. To yeah, and I died. I'm too used for them to do only one hit, one swing, and then. They stop. Shit! Let's try fucking again. I need to just shut up and fucking kill the dudes. Okay, less talking, more killing. Like that. Die, die, die. Okay, I got this. So easy. It may look easy from what I'm doing, but it's definitely not. I mean, for me, it actually is not that hard now. But starting with this game, oh my god, such pain and such joy, 
when you get better. Dragged me. And he's dead. Next fight. I'm not taking any lethal damage for now, which is good. It will all regenerate. And uh, I took some of it now. But this amount will regenerate in the next round. I don't think it, wa it was regenerating before, before the update. Like between rounds, maybe it was. I just didn't notice. But in no oh shit! What the fuck was that? No, get up! Shit! Shit! Get out! Get out of here! That was fucking strange. He's like he like fucking tossed me with his weapon. And that's why this game is fucking awesome. No, I toss him and into the ball finish. Because all of this, the, the game is based entirely on physics, so every fight is different. That's why this game is so repeat repeatable. Wow, that was very nice fucking slice to her face. There you go. And we're on this dude. Oh shit. I went too aggressive on him. And he used that to his advantage. Sword. As you can see, uh, your sword can easily get stuck on walls and stuff, it doesn't clip through things. That's why this game's so good. Okay, next. <sighs> what I call the hardest enemy of novice. Arena. Oh, that was very nice thing from her. Because I took some bad fucking lethal damage. And she's dead. There's the fucking little damage. Okay, last fight. I fucking got yeah. this. This dude is fucking easy. Compared to the previous. Or maybe not. Zepno has a fucking huge range and it's apparently harder to block now. What the fuck? cornered and I just turned around like a fucking idiot well it was not intentional come on fucking die no I'm fucking losing What? 
I blocked it! God damn, he's no further! Damn. I think he's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, tune in for the next one. I'm gonna try to actually fucking complete the novice in the new update. So, see you next time.